The winners in the professional category are, we're starting with first place, which goes to Juliana Kalita for De Dade. Juliana is a first time participant and has one other photo in this year's exhibit. Juliana is located in Brazil, and unfortunately, you can see her photograph here, she's unable to join us this evening. However, she shared the following story with us about this photograph. She begins by saying, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to show my work and to be able to talk a little bit about it today, and I do apologize for not being present. I'm a Brazilian, a mother, a journalist, and I've been working more specifically with photography for eight years. Julia, Juliana tells us that she's passionate about her country's culture, the mysteries of the soul, and human relationships. She shares two photos uh, tonight, and you're looking at here the first one, which is first place. And what she wants to share about them is that after living in the Amazon region for six years, far from her family, she returned to Rio de Janeiro, her hometown, because she needed to care for her grandmother. Her grandmother lived in a small town near Sao Paulo, and it reminded Juliana of the many memories of her childhood. She found when they got back together that she soon noticed the consequences of time. She said, my grandmother was already over 90 years old and losing her independence. I traveled to her home and bathed her and changed her diaper and we had long conversations. Despite her weak body, she was alert and aware, but also ashamed and embarrassed in the beginning of her need for help while bathing. I tried to calm her down by saying, take it easy, grandmother. You took care of me in the past, and now it's my turn to look after you. The impermanence and cyc cyclic dynamic of life became obvious to me, she said. The shower moments grew to be one of my grandmother's favorite things of the day. While I showered her body, she washed her soul and unburdened her secrets and resentments hidden in, for decades. This way, I witnessed her farewell process. Our connection, which was already strong, got even more intensified. It was wonderful, but it was difficult to see the obvious. It was difficult to see that time would not give us more than what was possible. I started registering little by little our moments, and I wanted to relish these memories when she wasn't here anymore. I wanted to capture these moments with real images of my grandmother and her strength and her weakness. She was and still is my root, Juliana says. Juliana said she decided to take a photo of the both of us naked, representing our symbiosis in our temple, the place where we exchanged our deepest confidences. In short, for six years after this photo shoot, she said she followed and registered the wise and cruel dynamic of life. And then on August 11th, 2020, Juliana's grandmother passed away. She was 98 years old, and she was sure of all the love she had gave and had received in life. Juliana tells us that receiving this prize has been more than an honor to me. I can translate what I'm feeling with this recognition through my father's words. He said, you have helped your grandmother be reborn. So such a lovely story uh, shared here in this beautifully lit photograph and just capturing the memories that Juliana shared with her grandmother.